In most cultures and traditions in Ghana, it is believed that that person leaves the physical world for the spiritual world. For this reason, families feel obliged to give their dead loved ones a decent resting place. In the Ashanti region, it is common to see houses built over graves. GBC 24 visited some cemeteries in Kumasi and guarded that the cemeteries quickly get full. With a huge housing deficit in the region, there's no pressure on land in the Ashanti region. The wisest thing you can do is to read the Bible. Read the Bible book of Ecclesiastes chapter 6 verse 3, that if a man bears a hundred children and lives for many years, so that the days of his years and his soul are filled with good, but he does not have a good burial, he is no better than a stillbirth. Similarly, in Ghana, most cultures consider the dead as living in another world and hence must be treated with dignity. In most communities, cemeteries are allocated to some prominent churches, the Islamic community, chiefs and members of royal families. GBC 24 visited some cemeteries in the Ashanti region where houses are built as tombstones. This is because relatives of the dead believe the spirit of their loved ones must reside in decent abodes. In contrast, members of the Islamic faith bury their dead without tombstones. The graves were only covered with topsoil, hence maximizing space. At the Jamasi Public Cemetery in the Setre South District, Mr. Samuel Idupoku and Kofi Asensu were supervising the preparation of the burial places for their dead loved ones. They spoke to GBC 24. Yeah, no, cemetery Different tombstones have been erected, some real houses. A mason, Mr. Dominic Jimfi, and a tombstone designer, Mr. Kofin Tumi, explained the processes involved in building a tombstone and the financial cost involved. This also includes an epitaph for easy identification. <laughs> The district environmental health officer, Mr. Kwekupoku, is concerned about the latest development of building houses over graves. His office is responsible for the issuance of burial certificates. There is different fee attached to these kind of barriers. So that if you want to um, have a tomb, there's a fee that you need to pay. If you want to have a structure over the tomb, all these are measures that the assembly has put in place in order to ensure that we conserve space. Because if you don't have, if you can't afford to pay what is required of you, then it means you'll carry out an ordinary barrier and that will in a way conserve the land for use in, in future. Another issue of concern is the encroachment on the cemeteries by some private developers. One such place is the Tafu Cemetery which was built in 1925. It is currently under the supervision of the Kumasi Metropolitan Assembly. Due to lack of space at some of these cemeteries, some families are forced to bury their dead at the same spot where other departed family members were buried some years back. At the Jamasi Public Cemetery, the news team noticed that a tombstone with an inscription of someone who was buried in the 1970s has other tombstones on top of it. Two bodies have been buried at the same spot. The Secretary South District Chief Executive, Mr. Edward Ayekwao, spoke about what he experienced about cemeteries when he once travelled to Germany and says he has suggested that to the opinion leaders in the community. In his opinion, 
Only mausoleums meant for chiefs and queen mothers must be situated within the township, while public cemeteries be relocated to the outskirts of the town. We have to come out with a scientific way of managing cemetery. It should be a very serious concern to the government. Relocation is the best. Let us acquire a decent place for barrier. We wall it, you put security gate there, you fix everything there, let the cemetery be about five, six miles away from downtown. Let us make sure that a perfect road network connects the cemetery. Mr. Ijakwa explained the situation where the living and the dead appear to be jostling for the little space available as a serious public issue that must be dealt with. He suggested that families must consider cremation as another option to disposing of the dead. On the issue of private burial, particularly in homes, the District Environment Health Officer, Mr. Kwekupoku, cautioned against the practice in view of some health implications. Private burial in homes and what have you, it's something that uh, uh, we strictly want to discourage. Getting a decent and a, a modern kind of a public cemetery where people will be willing to have their burials or their dead bodies buried there. Because when you go to the outside world, it's, 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 it really happens that people bury in their homes because of the way they have planned their cemeteries. 